What's up guys, I'm Chris and today you're watching an unboxing video and first thoughts on the How to Read Minds 2 kit by Peter Turner and Illusionist. Welcome to the channel, thanks for tuning in. If you haven't, please consider subscribing, give this video a like, any comments or questions just ask in the comments section below and don't forget to join the Chris Edwards Magic secret access group over on Facebook. Alright, so today isn't a review. Um, I'm going to try to get a full review up by next week. Uh, I got the How to Read Minds 2 kit in yesterday. Finally, it took uh, quite some time. But uh, I would say that so far I am pleasantly surprised. This is just my initial thoughts. I'm going to kind of do an unboxing. I'm going to show you everything that's in here minus the Rise gimmick because I'm not going to show anything that would kind of be exposure. But I am quite pleased with the quality of materials and I have watched a bit of the teaching and so far it's really good. So what do you get in the box? So outside of the box, you're going to get an additional regular deck of cohorts. So these are the Ghost Edition. These are marked cards. So if any of you have cohorts, you know that they are good cards. They handle really well. Um, the marking system is really good. Very easy to read, but also very well hidden. These uh, have no color. So this is the Ghost Edition. Um, I think personally, I would have preferred just a regular deck, even though I have a number of regular cohorts already. I just don't know if I love the no color, but whatever. They still do the job. So with the deck of cards, you're going to learn a number of routines, mentalism routines, and so far what I've watched, they're really good. Again, this will be brief because I can't go too much into the contents as I haven't watched everything, but I did want to get this out because I know some people are still waiting on this, and there's been a lot of questions of what is actually in here, what are you getting? So if I open the box, you're going to see a number of things. Again, I'm not going to show anything that would give too much away. So actually speaking on the Rise gimmick, I've already seen on Facebook there are some comments about the range not being too good. So I don't have that issue personally. I did test the range right before making this video. Uh, the range for me, I went as far as I could in the room I'm in. Now when you're performing this, you're likely going to be right next to the person or within a radius of a couple to a few feet. Um, I tested it from where I'm sitting to across the room over there, which I set the uh, gimmick over there. And the range for me is good. The distance between where I am and across the room over there is about 20 feet, which is more than I will ever be away from a participant while performing an effect. Um, there are some things in between us that could potentially block signal and that wasn't a problem. I have um, a standalone shelf unit up there that's about uh, 10 feet long filled with stuff and there is a duvet covering it because over here I record some other stuff and uh, yeah it made it through everything so yeah range for me is good it might go further than that but this is kind of a biggest space as I have that I could test this in right now um, before I do the full review I'll probably take it in the house and maybe run it from my living room down the hall to the bedroom and see how far it goes that's about a 40 to 50 foot range which I don't expect it to work in that range but again you're going to be within a few feet of your participants when performing this. So the range for me, uh, it seems really good. Now the Rise gimmick, is it what I thought? I had no idea what it was. I had no idea what to expect. So it is uh, interesting. It is quite unique. Um, will I use it? Yeah. And I think that it will achieve the desired effect. Like it's one of those things when I watched it, I was like, I have no idea how that works or if that's even going to work. Um, I think with some audience management, it's going to be great. So you got to kind of have to watch who you choose to do one part of the effect but the second part you can choose another person you can do it all with one person but the second part it doesn't matter who you pick it's it can be anybody even somebody trying to catch you out so anyway with that said i i do like it i think it's going to be a really cool effect and i do personally feel like it's going to work i'll try it out within the next week and and get back to you on if it worked for me so after that you're going to get a uh another deck of cohorts now this is a special deck that uh 
you use with the rise gimmick routine, which basically is a card at any number. It's kind of an any card at any number, but you do have to do some things. I, I won't get too much into it. Uh, then you're going to get another deck of cohorts, but this is just the box, okay? I'm not going to say anything more than that, but there's a reason for it. You will get a large stack of billets. And I actually, I really like these these billets myself. I uh, After getting the original How to Reminds kit, I uh, ended up buying a bunch of these billets because you could buy refills of the of certain products afterwards. Um, especially when these were on sale, I think you'd get like 50 billets for a dollar or something like that. So I stopped up and I, I really do like these billets. You're also going to get your uh, unique code on the back of this. So that's for your tutorial, which you can stream or download. After that, you will get a bulldog clip. Now, if anybody has other Switch gimmicks like this, like I know uh, there's the executive clip by Chris Funk, um, which is a really good one. This specific clip is not gimmicked, but you gimmick it. You, I guess you construct it, which honestly takes a couple seconds. What you do to it, um, they supply you with. I don't see it ever wearing out, but if it does, you just replace the materials and the materials you can find for probably a few cents or if you're spending like a dollar or two you're probably getting hundreds and yeah it again it takes seconds to reapply if you ever need to do that which you probably won't next you are going to get a piece of metal which is actually a shiner so there's I've watched some of the uh, routines with this and a little bit of the tutorial there and so far really good uh, the size of it is really good as well because uh, you can place it in a stack of billets or you know number of places you can hold on to it it's small enough to palm it's a little bit smaller than a playing card after that you're gonna get this pen which to me uh, I feel like it's kind of dumb um, I'm not gonna say what it is it's a gag it's, I mean, it will get reactions, it'll get some laughs, it'll, it's kind of got a shock factor to it. I feel like maybe they could have utilized this space to hold something better. However, I did watch the tutorial because when I first opened it up, I thought, what the heck is this, right? So I watched the tutorial, and even though I think the gimmick here is quite silly and maybe not necessary, the teaching is actually really good. So Pete teaches a routine, and with that, he teaches both a mechanical force as well as a psychological force, which is actually really good. So he was able to take the kind of silly gimmick and still bring something good out of it. And that's one thing I've noticed in the stuff that I did watch because I watched the um, Rise gimmick tutorial. I watched the Bulldog Clip tutorial. I watched some of the billet one and Pete's teaching is next to none. Like it is awesome. The routines are great and all the nuances and, and little bits of advice and things that he's learned over the years and experimented with and all that experience in general, it really shows with this. So, you know, I think I'm going to be quite happy overall with this. Underneath, there's not a lot underneath. You will get a um, some envelopes. Now these are ungimmicked envelopes. You are going to gimmick these. Very easy to do. And this doesn't have a lot to do with mentalism. I wasn't exactly sure why they included this, but Pete said he is going to teach some mentalism routines with this. So basically it can be used as a switch envelope. So depending on how you want to gimmick this, you can use it for the effect that it was kind of included or designed for, which is a signed card to envelope and it looks really really good like it's super visual um, it is similar to some other things on the market but they got the uh, permission of the originator which I think created this kind of gimmick and plot back in 1988 uh, it is good the effect I will use it even though it's not mentalism I think it's gonna be great but again, you will be able to use these for mentalism. So if you are not in any form a magician, these will still come in useful. And then you're going to get a couple envelopes. I think that these are two-way envelopes or two-out envelopes, multiple-out, whatever you want to call them. So 
And then here's just, uh, these are some gimmicks that you will use with the Bulldog clip. And again, if you run out of these, which I don't think you ever will, because I think when you set it up, I don't see them wearing out or coming apart or anything like that. But if they do, and you run out of these, you can pick up more for very, very, very cheap. So with that, that's everything that's included. The quality of the materials seem to be very, very good. And then I think so far, everything that I've watched as far as content goes is phenomenal. I think that with a lot of these props, like obviously the cards, you can do an abundance of things with the cards, but the shiner, it gets a quality shiner for sure. The mirror finish on this is really, really good. So, oh, there's some uh, puppets. Anyway, it's good, really good. Uh, he also goes into teaching you some impromptu methods of using a shiner and other things like that ways that you can construct, construct different shiners things that he has come up with over the years that he uses as i watch more and get to kind of use some of this more in the next week or so i will upload a full review i know with the tutorial each specific prop or gimmick has a number of routines or ideas that you can use. So yeah, I think you're gonna get a lot out of what's included here, but then even just with the deck of cards, I think there's something like a dozen different routines, like mentalism, card magic, that's, uh, no, I shouldn't say card magic, card mentalism that uh, is really good. So yeah, just thought I would kind of let you guys see what's in here and what to expect. I am happy with it and I'm excited to kind of learn and use what's in here along with what I'm going to learn to apply to existing stuff that I already do because I know that Pete has a has quite a bold approach on things but I've found that in the past the material that I've learned of his has worked so with that I will get back to you with some more information on this so yeah we'll see you at the next review